<laughs> Mummy Rabbit Bump. Peppa and George are playing with Susie Sheep and Pedro Pony. <laughs> Here are Rebecca and Richard Rabbit. Hello, Rebecca. I've got a secret. What is it? My mummy's got a bump in her tummy. Ooh! Has she eaten too much? No! There's a baby rabbit inside. Mummy rabbit? Is there really a baby rabbit in your tummy? Yes. Would you like to listen to it? Yes, please. Can you hear a little heartbeat? Yes, I can. It's going boom, boom, boom. Oh, it just moved. Yes, sometimes babies give a little kick. Nay. What will you call it? I don't know. Would you children like to think of a name? Yes, please. Hello, Mummy Rabbit. <coughs> Would you like a cup of coffee? I can't have coffee, but I am quite hungry. Would you like a carrot? I'm a bit off carrots. Have you got any potatoes? Yes, we do. Maybe a potato with jelly and cheese and strawberry jam, please. Yeah. <laughs> a potato with jelly, cheese and strawberry jam? What a funny mixture of food. We need to think of a name for the baby. Yes. If the baby is a girl, she'll be called Rachel Rabbit. Or how about... Ruth Rabbit. Roxanne Rabbit. Sharon Rabbit. I don't think so, Pedro. Sharon Rabbit sounds wrong. I like Rosie. Rosie Rabbit. <laughs> it's perfect. But what if the baby is a boy? Oh. How about Rufus Rabbit? Raymond Rabbit. Michael Rabbit. Michael <laughs> Rabbit. No! Robbie Rabbit. Yes, Robbie Rabbit. Thank you for the potatoes with jelly, cheese and strawberry jam, Mummy Pig. My pleasure. We thought of a name for the baby. Rosie if it's a girl and Robbie if it's a boy. They're lovely names. It's sad that the baby can't have both names. Oh, my tummy! It's all that funny food you've been eating. I don't think so, Daddy Rabbit. The baby is coming. Right, to the hospital. Quickly now, don't panic. Bye. 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 Good luck. Did you pack everything on the list? I've got it all. Pillows, scented candles, yoga music and enough food for three days. <laughs> don't panic, don't panic. Anyone in? We are having a rabbit. Hello, sister. What are you doing here? I'm having a baby, remember? Oh, yes. You better come inside then. Can I come too? Moo! You'll have to park the car first. Don't worry. Having a baby always takes a long time. Out of the way, everyone! My sister's having a baby! A kettle and plenty of towels. This lot should last us a good few days. Whoa! Where shall I put all this stuff? Back in the car. We don't need it now. What? Daddy, you missed all the excitement. Have I? Is it a boy or a girl? Both. <coughs> We've got baby twins. Wow. It is the next day and Mummy Rabbit is home from hospital. Hello. Can we see the twins, please? Of course, Peppa. <coughs> oh. Are they boys or girls? They're both. A boy and a girl. They're called Rosie and Robbie. So you did use both names. Yes. <laughs> Rosie Rabbit and Robbie Rabbit. They're the best names in the world. And we thought of them. <laughs> <laughs> Shadows. It is a lovely sunny day. Pepper, George, and Rebecca Rabbit are playing piggy in the middle. Cat Peppa. Cat Rebecca. George is the piggy in the middle. <laughs> oh, George is trying to catch the bull's shadow. Silly George. 
That's not the ball. That's just its shadow. Look! When the ball moves, its shadow moves as well. You've got a shadow too, George. George is trying to walk away from his shadow. You can't walk away from your shadow. You need to run away from it. Peppa <laughs> is trying to run away from her shadow. Oh, it's still there. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello, Susie. We're trying to run away from our shadows. No one can run away from their shadow. Oh. You need to use a scooter. Whee! Susie is trying to ride away from her shadow. See? But your shadow is still there. Oh! Hello, everyone. Here is Mr Elephant with Emily and Edmund. Hello. We're trying to run away from our shadows. You can never run away from your shadow. I know. We can't go fast enough. No, Susie. It's nothing to do with how fast you run. You see? My shadow is still underneath me. Run faster! Even if I run faster, my shadow keeps up with me. Daddy, your shadow is too big. It's slowing you down. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that, Emily. Your shadow always stays with you. Why? When something gets in the way of the sun, it makes a shadow like this. Oh. oh. I have the biggest shadow because I'm the biggest. And George and I have the smallest shadows because we are the smallest. Very clever, Edmund. I'm a clever clogs. <laughs> <laughs> <gasps> Whose shadow is that? That's the biggest shadow ever! It must be a giant! <laughs> it's not a giant. The shadow is being made by a cloud. Wow! What sort of cloud is it? Um, it's a big cloud. It's called a stratocumulus. Yes. Edmund Elephant is a clever clogs. Look, our shadows are getting longer. Ooh! That's because the sun is getting lower in the sky. It's nearly night time. My shadow has gone. Yes, Emily. When the sun sets, the shadows go away. Peppa, George, bedtime. OK, Daddy. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye. It is bedtime. I'm a bit sad that my shadow's gone away. Don't be sad, Pepper. The electric light can make shadows. And we can make shadow puppets. Mummy Pig is using her hands to make a shadow puppet. It's a birdie! <laughs> <laughs> Listen to it sing. Tweet, tweet, I'm a little birdie. <laughs> my turn. Pepper has made a spider. My name is is Mr Skinny Legs. Oh, scary. <laughs> George is making a shadow puppet. What's that, George? Dinosaur. <laughs> George has made a dinosaur. <laughs> That's really scary. Very good, George. <laughs> Time to switch the lights out. Good night, Pepper. Good night, George. Good night, shadows. Good night, shadows. The noisy night. Peppa's family are having a sleepover at Cousin Chloe's house. Hello, everyone. Hello. Hello. You must be tired after your long journey. Yes, an early night would be nice. First, we'll put baby Alexander to bed. <laughs> this is baby Alexander's bedroom. <laughs> Alexander likes noise. It sends him to sleep. <laughs> we like noise in this house. We're a noisy family. Peppa, George, you're staying in my room tonight. Oh, goody. <laughs> 
Pepper and George are excited to be sleeping in Cousin Chloe's bedroom. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Night, night. Everyone is tucked up in their beds, asleep. <coughs> Baby Alexander is awake. <coughs> Pepper and George are awake. What's that noise? It's the vacuum cleaner. Um, why are you vacuuming at night? We're not disturbing you, are we? What? Oh, no! <coughs> we found noise is the best way to get baby Alexander back to sleep. <coughs> he likes noise. We're a noisy family. <coughs> Everyone is back in their beds, asleep. Baby Alexander is awake. Why is Auntie Kate playing a trumpet? To get Alexander to sleep. The more noise, the better. Is there another way that doesn't use noise? We do find noise is the best way. When George was a baby, we used to put him in his pram and wheel him around the house. And that always sent him to sleep. How strange. No loud noises. That's right. How many times round the house was it, Mummy Pig? Three times? Fifty times. <sighs> Daddy Pig is pushing baby Alexander around the house. Fifty times. <sighs> Good. Baby Alexander is asleep. Can you let me back in? I'll just switch the alarm off. Switch the alarm back on. Pepper, what are you doing up? I can't sleep, Daddy. It's a noisy night. OK, Pepper. Let's get you back to bed. Now. Which bedroom are you staying in? Stop, Daddy! That's baby Alexander's room! Ah. Oh. <coughs> the light has woken baby Alexander. It's all right. I've got the vacuum cleaner. I've got the trumpet. Stop! Stop! I remember another quiet way we used to get George to sleep. Oh, yes! We drove him around in the car. I'll get the car started. Don't forget! Daddy Pig has set off the noisy house alarm. The noisy house has woken everyone up. It's Miss Rabbit in her rescue helicopter. Is everybody all right down there? I heard the alarm. Yes, thank you. All right. Cheerio. Sent baby Alexander to sleep. He's really fast asleep now. Oh, thanks to my noisy daddy. Well done, Daddy Pig. We should have you to stay more often. <laughs> <laughs> Flying on holiday. Pepper and George are going on holiday. They are packing their bags. You can't pack everything. But we need to take all our toys, Daddy. <laughs> Just take the important ones. OK. I'll take Teddy and George can take... Dinosaur. <laughs> Mummy Pig is packing a big bag for the holiday. Wow! That's a lot of stuff, Mummy Pig. Are you sure we need it all? Yes, it's all very important. OK. It is Susie Sheep. Hello, Peppa. Do you want to play? I can't play today, Susie. I'm going on holiday. Oh, where are you going? I don't know. Somewhere where there's holidays. <laughs> That sounds nice. Oh, Granny and Grandpa. 
Why are you here? We're here for Goldie the fish. We're looking after her while you're on holiday. Here's Goldie. Don't feed her too much, Granny. OK, Peppa. <coughs> it is Mr Bull in his taxi. He is taking Peppa and her family to the airport. <gasps> Hello, Daddy Pig. Let me take that bag for you. Whoa! <coughs> That's heavy. Are you sure you need everything in here? Yes, it's all very important. Bye! 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 Bye-bye! This is the airport. Goodbye! <gasps> Have a lovely holiday. Tickets, please. Here they are. Any bags? Yes. I'm afraid this one's a bit heavy. Don't worry. Just pop it on the scales. <laughs> Anything valuable in it? No. Any more? Yes. <laughs> you can take those little bags on the plane with you. Just join the queue over there. This is the X-ray machine. What's this, Daddy? It's a machine that looks inside things. Ooh. Put your bags on here, please. Look, it's my bag with Teddy inside. Dinosaur. <laughs> That's magic. This is the aeroplane that will take Pepper and her family on holiday. Airplane! Yeah! George loves aeroplanes. Welcome aboard. We hope you enjoy your flight with us today. Can I sit next to the window? <laughs> of course, Pepper. <laughs> yes, George, you can sit next to a window too. <laughs> this is Captain Emergency speaking. Is everybody ready? Yes, yes Captain, Captain Emergency. Emergency! Then let's go! Teddy, they're flying. What can you see out of the window, Peppa? It's all cloudy and rainy. Ooh, now it's sunny. That's because we're on top of the clouds. The plane is flying higher and higher. Oh, are we flying up to the sun? No, but we are going somewhere sunny. Pepper and her family are flying through the sky on their way to a sunny holiday. <laughs> Pepper's Circus. It is a lovely sunny day. Pepper and her friends are visiting Granny and Grandpa Pig. What's that? Grandpa Pig is putting up a big stripy tent in his garden. It's the circus! Circus, Peppa? There's no circus here. Why have you got a big stripy tent, then? This is for Granny Pig's garden party. Oh, what's a garden party? It's where grown-ups stand around talking. What a waste of a good tent. A circus would be more exciting. Why don't you make your own circus? Yes, <laughs> we can call it Peppa's Circus. Have you finished putting up the tent, Grandpa? The guests will be here soon. Granny, we're doing a circus for your garden party. What a splendid idea. Can we dress up? Of course. I'll get the dressing up box. We can be clowns. And strongmen. And jugglers. My daddy was in the circus. <laughs> wow, what did he do? He sold tickets. Here, you can all find something to wear in the dressing up box. <laughs> Pepper has found a top hat. Danny Dog has found some spotty trunks and a stick on moustache. 
<laughs> Pedro has found a clown outfit. Who wants makeup? Me, please. What does everyone want to be? I want to be the clown. But Peppa, where is your clown costume? Okay, you be the clown. I want to be the strong man. Okay, Danny, you be the strong man. I want to be the juggler. But I wanted to do that. Wow! Okay, you be the juggler. Grandpa, I don't have a job to do. You can be the ringmaster, Peppa. You've got the hat for it. What's a ringmaster? The ringmaster is the boss. Yes, I'll be the ringmaster. <laughs> What do I do? You say, welcome to my circus. See the impossible, the amazing, the incredible feats of daring do. Ooh. Uh, welcome to my circus. It's got amazing feet. <laughs> <laughs> Moo! Granny Pig's garden party guests are here. Hello, everyone. You're in for a treat. The circus has come to town. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my circus. Now, please be very scared of the amazing Candy Cat. <laughs> George, Richard and Edmund on Tricycle! <laughs> Don't stop clapping. It's the strong Danny dog. <laughs> I was a strong man once. I used to lift tractors. <sighs> See, Emily Elephant juggle potatoes and an egg. <laughs> Oh. Now laugh a lot at Pedro Pony. He's a clown. <laughs> Stop laughing. I haven't done the funny bit yet. Ah, ah. that was the funny bit. <laughs> That's what I call funny. Thank you. That is the end of my amazingly impossible circus. Hooray! That is the best circus I have ever seen. <laughs> School projects. Pepper and her friends are at playgroup. Children, who can tell me what this is? It's a castle. That's right, Danny. And for your school project, I want you to go home and make a castle. Wow! You can make your castles from any old bits and bobs you find at home. Cardboard, plastic bottles, egg boxes... Can we use glitter? Oh, please, not too much glitter. It gets everywhere. Can I make the castle big? Make it as big as you like. The only limit is your imagination. It is breakfast time at Peppa's house. Mummy, Daddy, I've got some very good news. What's that, Peppa? I am doing a new school project. Uh, school project? Oh, what is it, Peppa? I need to make a castle. OK. Why don't you use this empty cereal box? Stick these yogurt pots on the sides. And what have you got? A box with pots on it. <sniffs> no, Daddy, it has to be good. Peppa, what exactly did Madame Gazelle tell you to do? She told us to use our imagination. And a fantastic castle is what I am imagining. <sniffs> and my castle has to be big enough for me to live in. I see. Right. It is breakfast at Susie Sheep's house. Madame Gazelle told you to make a real fairy palace? Yes, with all the little fiddly bits. <laughs> Hello? Sorry, but I can't come into work today. It's a school project! <laughs> yes, yes! <laughs> Thanks, but I should be able to manage. This is what my castle looks like, but much, much bigger. If it needs to be big, we should use concrete. 
No, Daddy Pig. We just need to find a big enough cardboard box. Have we got a big box? Uh, no. Delivery for Daddy Pig. I don't remember ordering anything this large. Ah, it's just a new light bulb. Why do they use so much packaging for these things? Shall I take the box away for you? Oh, yes. Thank you. No, Daddy. We need that box. Look what I've got. Great. That's your castle almost done. Hooray! Hooray. It's not almost done. We have to stick things on, paint it, add the glitter. Glitter? Hello? Hello. Can I speak to Peppa, please? Peppa, it's Susie Sheep. Hello, Susie. How's your school project going? I'm doing very well. More pointy, Mummy, and it needs to be taller. How is your castle going? It's quite hard work, but my Mummy and Daddy are helping a little tiny bit. Uh, what do you think of this tower, Peppa? Very good, but it still looks a bit cardboardy. Hmm, maybe I can paint it. I need to get on with my work now, Susie. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye, Peppa. What do you think, Peppa? Wow, that looks just like a castle. Oh, we got there in the end. Hmm, it just needs one more thing. Glitter! Oh, um, glitter would stop the castle looking real. And anyway, we've, um, completely run out of glitter. Pepper and her friends have brought their castles back to playgroup. Wow, a fairy palace. That must have been a bit tricky for you to make, Susie. No, it was easy. <laughs> My castle is made out of a cardboard box. It is a very fine castle. Thank you, Madame Gazelle. Pedro, did you not make a castle? I did, but it's too big to bring into school. Uh, we built it out of stone blocks. Isn't it wonderful what the children can make using just their imaginations? And my castle really is big enough for me to live in. <laughs> Peppa loves school projects. <laughs> Everyone loves school projects. <laughs> It is a lovely sunny morning. Daddy Pig is driving to work in his car. Breakfast time, Goldie. Mummy Pig is feeding Goldie the fish. Mummy, Goldie isn't eating. Oh, maybe she's not feeling very well. Let's phone Dr Hamster the vet. Dr Hamster the vet speaking. Hello, Dr Hamster. Goldie the fish is not eating. And she looks sad. Oh, you better bring Goldie to see me right away. Oh, Daddy took the car. How do we get to the vet? We can take the bus. Oh, goody. <laughs> this is the bus stop. The timetable says the next bus will be here at 10 o'clock. What time is it now? 10 o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> How many tickets? One mummy ticket and two little piggies. And one fish, please. The fish goes free. <laughs> Hold tight. Mr Bull is waiting for the bus. Ooh, one ticket to the music shop, please. Hello, Mr Bull. We're taking Goldie to the vet. Oh, dear. Feeling poorly, are we, Goldie? She can't talk. She's a fish. Of course. Uh, maybe she'd like to hear a tune on my tuba. <laughs> it sounds funny. That's why I'm going to the music shop to get it mended. Ooh. Mrs Sheep, Mrs Cat, Mr Zebra and Madame Gazelle have got on the bus. Uh -oh. Four tickets to the supermarket, please. Hello, Madame Gazelle. We're taking Goldie to the vet. Oh, is Goldie not well? She likes you. <laughs> the wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round. Day long. 
<laughs> Supermarket! Bye! Music shop! Bye! Last stop, the vet! The vet helps sick pets get better. Oh, is this the sad little fish that won't eat? Yes. Watch this. Goldie has eaten the food. Oh, she didn't eat at home. Maybe Goldie was bored at home. The interesting journey has cheered her up. Ah. Oh. You have a very healthy, happy fish. She's lovely. Thank you, Dr Hamster. Mummy Pig, Pepper and George are going home on the bus. Mr Bull is going home with his mended tuba. It's as good as new! <laughs> <laughs> Madame Gazelle and her friends are going home with their shopping. I see Goldie the fish is happy again. Yes. It was the bus ride that made her better. The fish in the bowl swims round and round, round and round, round and round. The fish in the bowl swims round and round all day long. <laughs> Hello, where have you been? We took Goldie to the vet and now she's better. <coughs> oh dear, Goldie has a cough. <coughs> I think we should take Goldie to the vet again tomorrow. I can drive you in the car. No, Daddy. We want to go on the bus. It's fun. OK. We'll go on the bus. Hooray! <laughs> Everyone loves going on the bus, especially Goldie the fish. <laughs> <laughs>